Hello everyone, my name is Taha and I'm going to present our recent work Enshot Learning for Augmenting Task-Oriented Dialogue State Tracking, which is a collaboration between WingLab at National University of Singapore and I2R at ASTAR. Without further ado, let me start. Dialogue state tracking is the task of extracting the key preferences of a user at each turn in an ongoing task-oriented dialogue. This set of attributes are called the belief state. For example, on the right-hand side, you see a restaurant booking dialogue and highlighted are the preferences of the user regarding the booking. One of the most crucial problems in this task is the low resource domain adaptation of these systems, because most new business models would like to replace their static customer service websites with more dynamic dialogue agents. The domain adaptation of these systems under low resources is very challenging, since the target domain might have considerable differences in terms of the new slot labels and values introduced. NLP field have utilized data augmentation as a popular way to address this problem. We follow the lead and moreover claim that task-oriented dialogue modality bears even more potential for augmentation compared against plain text due to its structured annotation. Let me now explain the intuition behind this claim. Here you can see two dialogues, both in the train booking domain. If you look more closely, we can see that these dialogues share the same belief state in the first turn pair, where both discuss the destination of the train and its arrive time, just in different syntax. Looking further, we can also see that this is also true for the last turn pair. So if we regard the belief states as blueprints, we can say that the turn pair in the middle is like a transition between two different pairs, and its function for both these dialogues is the same. So we can simply create a new dialogue from these by taking the first and last pair from the second dialogue and the middle pair from the first one. We observed that this results in end-to-end -end coherent dialogues for most samples in multiple data set. Motivated by this observation, we implement a new framework that exploits this in order to generate synthetic dialogues from scratch. First, we separate every dialogue in a given training set, pair by pair. Then we delexicalize each pair, replacing slot values with their generic names. And we store each pair along with three sets, the previous, current, and the next belief states in the dialogue. We regard the combination of these three sets as the function of the turn pair in a given dialogue. We then construct a tree structure by adding these templates end to end as long as their functions are in harmony. In order to add a turn pair B to the tail of turn pair A, two conditions have to be met. First one is that B's belief state has to be equal to A's next belief state. And secondly, B's past belief state has to be equal to A's belief state. This makes sure that the coherency of the dialogues is not broken. We then keep adding into this tree structure until all possible combinations are employed. In the end, we sample every path from the root node to the leaf node, where each is a synthetic dialogue that is coherent end to end. We report results on multiple dataset with five domains over, uh, with over 10,000 dialogues. During training, we leave one domain as target each time and train on the four other domains and then fine tune and test on the target domain data. We use five and 10 shots for fine tuning and our framework uses the same shots to generate augmented data. We report results with both trade and Todbird model, but today I'll focus on former for this presentation. Top row here on the table is base model without any fine tuning, thus it is a lower bound and second row is base model fine tuned with eight, 84 shots, so it is an upper bound. So here we have the five shot fine tuning results. The first row base model fine tuned with original five shots whereas the second one is base model fine-tuned with our augmented samples. We can see that augmentation brings in a significant improvement in almost all domains, and the results are also consistent for 10-shot scenario as well. Moreover, we compare our model against a learning-based augmentation model called COCO. COCO is simply trained on the whole training set of multivos, and thus we regard it as an upper bound since our model only utilizes the end shots it is provided with, unlike the COCO model. We show that 
our model performs either same or better compared to COCO in, again, all domains of multiples. To sum up, we introduced a task-oriented dialogue augmentation framework, and this framework, different from others, applies modifications on the dataset level rather than on the datum or sample level. Thus, we believe that exploiting the organized structure in task-oriented dialogues belief state is an effective way to assign functions to terms and to effectively break down dialogues to even smaller pieces. We further believe that augmentation is not the only way to utilize this breakdown and hope there will be more future studies that apply it to other aspects in task-oriented dialogues, such as intent recognition, response generation, etc. Thank you so much for listening to my talk. Please feel free to reach me out for further discussion and questions about the paper. Have a nice day.